Today we will see examples related to profit and loss. Meena bought 20 pencils at the rate of 5 rupees and 40 pencils at the rate of 4 rupees. Out of the total pencils, she sold 54 pencils at the rate of 4 rupees and 6 pencils at the rate of 3 rupees. Find the profit or loss percentage. First of all, we have to find the cost price or CP of all the pencils purchased. The total cost price is equal to cost price of 20 pencils that were purchased at the rate of 5 rupees per pencil plus cost price of 40 pencils that were purchased at the rate of 4 rupees per pencil which is equal to rupees 5 multiplied by 20 plus rupees 4 multiplied by 40 which is equal to 100 rupees plus 160 rupees is equal to 260 rupees. Similarly, let's find the total selling price of the pencils. Total selling price is equal to the selling price of 54 pencils that was sold at rate of rupees 4 per pencil plus the selling price of 6 pencils that was sold at the rate of rupees 3 per pencil which is equal to 216 rupees plus 18 rupees is equal to 234 rupees. Here we see that the total selling price is less than the cost price. So we can say that in this situation, Meena has incurred a loss. Since loss is equal to cost price minus selling price, that is CP minus SP is equal to, which is equal to 260 rupees minus 234 rupees, which is equal to 26 rupees. Since loss percentage is equal to Loss divided by cost price multiplied by 100% is equal to 26 divided by 260 multiplied by 100% is equal to 10%. That is, Meena incurred a loss of 10%. Next example, a shopkeeper sold a watch for Rs. 1225 on which he earned a profit of 15%. Find out what will be the cost price of the watch. Stop this video and try to find the answer. Let me tell you, here the shopkeeper sold the watch for 1225 rupees. So, the selling price of the watch, that is, SP is 1225 rupees. He gained 15% profit. We know that profit percentage is equal to Profit divided by cost price multiplied by 100% and profit is equal to selling price SP minus cost price CP. Therefore, we can say that profit percentage is equal to selling price minus cost price divided by cost price multiplied by 100% is equal to selling price divided by cost price minus 1 multiplied by 100%. SP minus CP divided by CP multiplied by 100 is equal to SP divided by CP minus 1 multiplied by 100%. In this way, 15% is equal to 1225 divided by cost price minus 1 multiplied by 100%. We will solve it this way. That is, 15 divided by 100 is equal to 1225 divided by cost price minus 1 that is 15 divided by 100 plus 1 is equal to 1225 divided by cost price that is 115 divided by 100 is equal to 1225 divided by cost price in this way the cost price is equal to 1225 multiplied by 100 divided by 115 that is the cost price is equal to 1065.22 rupees therefore the cost price of the watch is 1065.22 rupees 
You can solve this question with another easy method which is called a unitary method which we will see in the next video. So today we have seen the examples related to profit and loss. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions and mistakes related to them.